guys, welcome back to SourceFed Nerd. I'm Steve Zaragoza. TV theme songs used to be really, really awesome. Like, bad awesome. Some were all power ballady and others were so catchy no amount of alcohol or drugs could get them out of your head. Believe me, I've tried. Damn you, step by step! Step by step. Day by day, day by day. Today I'm gonna give you a top 10 rundown of my favorite 1990s cartoon theme songs. Are you ready? And trust me, I wanted to put in stuff like Ninja Turtles and Gummy Bears and all those awesome songs, but those were 80s cartoons. We're sticking strictly to shows that debuted in the 1990s. Debuted. Uh, here we go. Number 10, Tailspin. You remember that show? Oh, we yeah, Tailspin. Oh, we oh. Deathpin. That show featured characters from the classic Disney film The Jungle Book flying planes and shit. Why? I don't know. Well, it doesn't even make any sense. Who's sitting in a room and they're like, let's take the characters from The Jungle Book and we'll have them run their own airplane place. And then one of them's a mechanic. Is that a good idea for a cartoon? Who thought of that? Were they on drugs? What kind of drugs? Number nine is Goof Troop. What did that theme song sound like? Goof Troop. Ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba -da -ba. Yeah. Oh. The show was okay, the movie was amazing, but what is Goofy? Is he a dog? I've heard people say he's a dog, but Pluto's a dog, and Pluto doesn't talk and have a son and go to church. Did Goofy go to church? Dog church? Dog is God backwards. See what I did there? Number eight is Doug. The theme song is simple, but catchy as hell, featuring layered human voices kind of like this. Do you know that Billy West was the voice of Doug? He also does the voice of Philip J. Fry and Ren and Stimpy later on, after John Crick Felucci left and did the voice of Ren for like the first season. Number seven is Rocco's Modern Life. Kate Pearson and Fred Schneider from the B-52s did the theme song for this show from season two and on. Remember the first season was like <laughs> Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Modern Life. And then the next one was the one that the B-52s guys did and it sounded like this. Rocco's Modern Life. Rocco's Modern Life. Tin Roof. Rusty! I got me a car that's as big as a whale and it's about to set sail. Number six is Tiny Toon Adventures, of course. Annoying moms and dads since 1990. We're tiny, we're toony, we're all a little loony and in this cartoony we're invading your TV. Or in this case it's your computer monitor. Or maybe you're watching this on TV. I don't know. I'm not in your home. Well I am in your home probably. Hi. Number five is South Park, performed by the band Primus. Kenny says dirty words in every version of the theme song. Did you know that? Like he says titties and fuck. And the theme song goes kind of like this. Well, I'm going down to South Park, going to have myself a time. Friendly faces everywhere, humble folks without temptation. Anyway, everybody knows the theme song to that one, right? Because it's fucking good. Number four is Darkwing Duck. Yeah, it's an epic cartoon theme song. And Joe doesn't like it. Yeah, he doesn't. I'm throwing him under the bus. He doesn't like it. Darkwing Duck. When there's trouble, you can call DW. Darkwing Duck. Let's get dangerous. Number three, Freakazoid. The cartoon is genius. One of the most underrated cartoons ever. It was ahead of its time, and it's very adult and freaking awesome. And Meg Turney's gonna sing the theme with me. Freakazoid, Freakazoid. Freakazoid, chimpanzee. That's yeah! all I remember. <laughs> Thank you very much, Meg. We don't know the words, but the show was awesome. It was underrated. It got canceled way too early. I think we, if we can bring back Family Guy, we can bring back Freakazoid. Am I right? Let's start the Kickstarter. We're almost to number one, kids, but number two is Animaniacs. Yeah, Animaniacs killed Tiny Toons. Did you know that? It's because it was a more popular show and it was better. The show was wacky as hell, and don't you dare pretend to not know all the lyrics to the theme song and also that state song where he's like, United States, Panama, Mexico, Canada, ba -na 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 -na. you know the words for God's sakes. You do it. I don't have to do it. It's time for Animaniacs. I don't know. I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, we're zany to the max. There's baloney in our slacks. We're animaniacs. That's a great song. Someone needs to cover it. Can I cover it? I'm gonna cover it in my love. I'm gonna pee on it. If it was on fire, I mean. And the number one 90s cartoon theme song, and don't you dare deny it, is the classic Disney afternoon Chippendales Rescue Rangers. It's an amazing theme song, and I need my Joe Beretta to help me sing it. Sometimes some crimes go slipping through the cracks, but these two gumshoes are picking up the slack. There's no case too big, no case too small. If you need help, just call Ch -ch 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 Bandales. Rescue Rangers, Ch -ch 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 when there's dangers, you know it never fails. They'll 
they'll get the clues. They'll find those whales and whiles and who's ch 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 bandels Ow! Rescue Rangers! ch 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 ranger! ch 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 We did it! Yeah! Okay. That theme song was performed by a band called The Jets and was written by Mark Mueller who also wrote the DuckTales theme song, which is also an amazing theme song and it would have been on this list if it had premiered in the 90s, but it actually premiered in 1987. Yeah, 87. I feel old. So that's it for my top 10 favorite 90s cartoons. Woo, 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 Steve. Serious errors have been made here. What do you uh, mean? Excuse me, Pokemon is not on this countdown? Okay, well. I uh, wanna be the very best in Okay. All right. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, all right. But I only had 10 and, choices. And excuse me, SpongeBob SquarePants not in this countdown? Well, Who I lives mean. in a pineapple under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants. All right. Meg, look, I wanted to put those in, but they were a little beyond my time, to be honest. I mean, I'm an old man over I here. I get it. Pokemon is not beyond anyone's time, Steve. I'm 26. I got it on my hand. Pokemon is timeless, I guess. It is. Pokemon will transcend time. It's like Mr. Miyagi. Mm -hmm. It just transcends time. I hear Pokemon will be in heaven. They better. I'll say here Pokemon will be in hell. No, no. I'm sorry, man. I'll, I'll, I mean, look, let's. So, there, how about this? We added them as official honorable mentions. Thank you. All right, Meg. There it is. He's All right, good. baby. Thank you. You feel good. So, that's it for my top 10 today. Let us know what your favorite 90s cartoon was in the comments down below. And please click that like and subscribe button if you haven't done that already, or click the annotation to see the other videos on the channel. I'm Steve Zaragoza. Sometimes, some crimes. Darkwing Duck!